Hey, booze, if you'd like to see how I got this wig to look like this wig, stay tuned. So this is the uh, front tool that I got from Amazon for $27. This is just the front and the back of it. And these are the products that I use. It's the normal bleaching products to bleach the um, hair. And I just um, bleached the top of it, this gal. <laughs> and that's how I look when I bleached it. And basically, after I bleached it, I used the Adore Ruby Red and the Kiss Ruby Red. And this is the process of how it looks while it's bleaching. This process uh, took me about a good two days, uh, only because I had things to do. And I didn't want to rush, but that's the process of me um, bleaching it. So the ruby red is generally, I left that towards the top. And I basically left the burgundy at the bottom, but I still went over it. So this is me basically sewing down the elastic band on the lace front to closure um, before I start the wig. And that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going through sewing it, as you guys can see on each end where it's going to be behind my ear. Now I'm just sewing down the perimeter of the lace frontal before I get ready to put my bundles in. And I kind of make a loop on uh, the stitching as you guys can see. It's pretty fast but I make a loop so it doesn't come out while I'm wearing my wig. <laughs> okay, now that's pretty much done. I'm just putting my bundles in. I really uh, tried to edit the shit out of this video because I didn't want to be too detailed because I have so many videos on me doing it in detail, uh, how to apply a wig. This is how it looks after I applied the wig. This is just the natural, um, not applied it, but the natural state of the wig, the hair. I am going to end up flat ironing, flat ironing it. <laughs> but this is basically how it looks in natural lighting. I flat iron half of it in this video. Okay, boo. So this is pretty much the um, the kind of like show and tell of this unit. I just got finished flat ironing her. Um, I colored the top so it can be more of a ombre fury red look. And um, as you come down to the bottom, it is burgundy. Now I haven't installed yet um, the laces on here. I'm gonna make it glueless until I decide to take out my um, braids because I have braids in it. This is, those are my braids. But um, this is pretty much the hair. Love how it turned out. No, this is not new hair. This is um, hair that I've had in previously. Kendra's Hair Boutique. The only new thing here is my um, uh, lace frontal closure. But I colored uh, the roots of all of this hair. Um, not the roots, but um, <clears throat> did highlights and colored uh, it ruby red in the door and then um the burgundy for the bottom this wig now i've been through some things but i just want to do a quick show and tell i'm definitely gonna name her fury salsa miss latina she is saucy honey like i love how it turned out i'm probably not gonna do a middle part i really don't have to do a part if i want if i don't want to um, I'm, I'm probably going to do a sad part. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a sad part. But, yep, I bleached the knots and all of that. I, uh, did a little bit of customization. I'm going to, um, do some baby hairs, cut this lace. But, this is it for this video. Um, if you want to watch me install the hair. I can do that. I've had a few, a good amount of installation videos uh, for my frontal wigs, but this is a wig that I constructed and I freaking love her. She is gorgeous. Okay? She's gorgeous. 
I'm going to be doing another one, um, but that's going to be black. I don't know if I'm going to do a body wave or a flexi wire or straighten that one. But it's a body wave wig. I just don't know how I want to style it. But this is this wig, honey. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. So this just is like a show and tell. So thanks for watching my video. And I hope you like thumbs up if you like videos like this. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.